Hello. Hello. Hi. Today we look at cooking and the different ways you can cook. You can boil. You can roast. You can bake. Or fry. Four different ways of cooking food. Can you think of one thing you can cook in all those different ways? Eggs. Can you roast eggs? Oh, hmm. no. I know. Potatoes. Yes. You can cook potatoes in all those ways. How do you cook potatoes? I cook potatoes in a number of different ways. Boiled potatoes are nice, mashed uh, with a little onion and cheese. It's very nice. I don't fry potatoes very often. My favorite way to cook potatoes is to bake them. Baked or boiled? I boil them, but I like saute potatoes, so I part boil them, then fry them. When I cook them for breakfast, I cut them into thin slices and I deep fry them. Now, Natalie is learning how to cook Italian food. And today, she's going to cook something for us. You come home from work or college. You're tired. You're hungry. You don't want to cook, but you have to. If you want something easy, try this recipe. You need pasta. And you also need butter, cream, parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. First, melt some butter over a low flame. If you use a high flame, the butter goes brown and you don't want that. Next, add some cream. And some cheese. Then, some salt and some pepper. This water is now boiling. Put the pasta in the boiling water Add some salt and boil for about seven minutes. That's fine. Not too soft, just right. Now, mix in the sauce. And that's it. Quick and easy to make. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. I agree. Excellent. How much butter do you need? And how much pasta do you need? I'll show you. For three to four people, this is what you need. 60 grams of butter, eight tablespoons of cream, 150 grams of Parmesan cheese, 450 grams of pasta, and a little salt and pepper. Julia Marsh is having dinner tonight 
with James Brady at his flat. James is cooking a traditional Irish meal, Irish stew. Irish stew is made with lamb, the meat of a young sheep, or mutton, the meat of an older sheep. James is calling his mother to find out how to make it. I see. If you use lamb, you cook it for two hours. If you use mutton, you cook it for three hours. Right? Thanks very much, Mum. Thanks. Bye. First put in some potatoes. Next, put in the carrots and onions. Then the meat. Now what did she say? After you put in the meat, put in some more potatoes. Oh no! I forgot the parsley! Add some parsley before you serve the meal. Hello, James. Hello, Julia. Come in. Oh, thank you. Mmm, that smells good. What is it? Irish stew. Irish stew? You can cook Irish stew? Oh, yes. Well, he can cook Irish stew with his mother's instructions. If you use lamb, you cook it for two hours. If you use mutton, you cook it for three hours. After you put in the meat, put in some more potatoes. Add some parsley before you serve the meal. Another thing you have to do before you serve a meal is set the table. That's the first course. Hurry up, darling. They'll be here soon. Yes, dear. Next, main course. Meat. Knives and forks again. One knife, one fork. One knife, one fork. One knife, one fork. One knife, one fork. And last, dessert. Dessert fork, dessert spoon. Dessert fork, dessert spoon. Nice, very nice. Yes. Yes, it is. What are we eating tonight, darling? What are we eating? You did the cooking. No, I didn't. You did the cooking. No, I didn't. Today is your birthday, darlings. You are one year old today. So we're going to have a birthday meal. Now, what do you want for the first course? Carrot soup. And the second course? Boiled carrots. And what do you want for the main course? Baked carrots. And you'll have a birthday cake, of course. <laughs> hmm. 
Millie's is a restaurant in California which serves low-fat vegetarian food. Its owners are Margaret and Dennis Malone. Here's how Margaret describes their restaurant. Millie's is a restaurant that is, the emphasis is on heart-healthy, low-fat, gourmet cuisine, and we specialize in providing people with locally grown organic produce. We mostly steam and blanch and saute and bake. The one thing that we don't do is fry and use oil in deep frying and frying and sauteing. One of the favorite dishes at Millie's that we've been making a lot uh, is a stew. And we do it as a special, and it's called O'Malley's Stew. We get all of the seasonal vegetables that we buy at Farmer's Market, and we wash them and we chop them on our preparation board. Uh, then we get a pot and fill it with water and begin to blanch the carrots and the leeks. After they've been simmering for a couple of minutes, we add the shiitake mushrooms and the smoked tofu. We continue then to add the remaining ingredients. Simmer a while longer, add some fresh herbs, and let it simmer for a few more minutes, and then the dish is complete. People come to dine now, uh, and oftentimes it's two to three courses. Uh, in the past, we served uh, food that wasn't quite as gourmet, and the meals were a bit shorter. Yes. Your tempeh Normandy. Your shiitake steak, sir. And our special pasta dish. Thank you. People are more and more interested in not only what they eat, but why they eat. So recently I've started to conduct groups that support people changing their lifestyle and their diet that deal with all the emotional reasons why we choose foods that sometimes are not beneficial. Well, that made me hungry. I know a good vegetarian restaurant. Great. Let's go. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.